Tony has seen all of these things that have been happening inside of the palace of Ilefe. And of course, it is time for every single one of these Oloris to start repenting. It is time for them to go around and repent for their sins. Because they have tried so much. They can't even picture their head about what is going to happen next. Oni has realized that if things are not sorted out as quick as possible, he is going to keep on wondering where these Oloris are going to go to. He will keep on wondering what next is going to happen to the Oloris. Because this is no joke at all. This is no fluke. Oni is, has been trying everything he can do. From the beginning of all of these things. From the beginning from all of these things. He has been trying to make sure that his Oloris listen to what he has to say. And make a right decision about the path they want to choose. But still, if you are not with God, where are you heading to? There is no way for you to head. There is not even a single way you can take and make sure that you yourself, you are not linked with God. So Oni now has come up with a brilliant plan for all of them. So guys, good morning, good afternoon and good evening depending on when and where you are actually watching us from. This is Royal Updates TV where we'll bring you top G's from the entertainment industry and also from the Oni of Ife Palace. Oni now has sent a message to the Oloris, stating that since they don't want to heed to instructions he has been putting down, since they don't want to be following God, that it is high time he makes a rule that every single one of his Oloris attend Queen Naomi's church, that that is the only way they can change. That apart from that, there is no change for these Oloris. Because if they go to other churches, he doesn't know whether they go to the church or they don't. That is where trouble will begin. That is where trouble is actually going to begin. And only doesn't want to see himself facing any of these Oloris. Only doesn't want to see himself going through all of this stress for his Oloris. So it is better for him to refer him to the person that knows that yes, she can handle all of this situation. No matter how bad it may be, no matter what exactly may happen, she can handle it. That is the kind of person Oni needs in the palace. And that is why he got in, brought in Queen Naomi. That is the main reason he brought in Queen Naomi. Just because of that. And still, the Oloris don't give her the respect that she deserves. The Oloris don't show her the kind of respect she actually needs. They still see her as the normal Queen Naomi that was in the palace a long time ago. They don't know that the Queen Naomi of before is not the same as today. They don't know that yet. Maybe he only has to tell them. Because he too said he has noticed all of these things that is happening. He has noticed the change in Queen Naomi. The willingness to help people. It has increased so much. So she won't be even bothered when she hears the Olori starts coming to her con congregation or not. She won't be bothered. All that she will just have in mind is that let these Oloris not create problems. That is the only thing she will have in mind. But the rest, everything is going to work out the way she herself has planned it. No matter what people will think. Because these Oloris still go ahead. Find specific ways that they can do. I don't know what single way they are still looking for again, apart from it, it, a very genuine way. And they will say uh, nothing is going well for them. This is happening to them. That is happening to them. When you do all of these things, why would those things not happen to you? Why wouldn't they not happen to you? And you expect yourself to be, to be, to be who you are today? You can't. Not that we are, they are swearing for you, but it's not possible. It is not because all of those things that you have been doing before... They will not come back to come and hunt you. They will come back to come and hunt you in tenfold. Without even thinking about what you want to do. Without you thinking about what exactly you can do to solve the situation. Without you doing that, that's when you now realize that all of this thing that has been happening is because of what you have done in the past. It's because of what you have done in the past. That is why it is coming in to come and meet you now. To come and torture you. So anything you are doing, whether you are doing it right or you are doing it wrong, 
put it in your mendula that all of these things have a valid reason for happening. So if at all you try, try to spoil the circle, then that is going to affect you too in your life. So anytime you are going around with all of these things, make sure you are doing it completely right so that nobody will have the time to come and meet you and tell you what you don't want to hear. So guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and don't forget to drop your comment down at the comment section. Goodbye y'all and peace out.